battle, enfilade refers to firing weapons along the long axis of advancement. In other words, straight ahead. The opposite of this would be firing laterally, referred to as defilade. Architecturally, enfilade also refers to forward movement on a long axis, as we shall see. Egyptian temples provide clear examples of enfilade in architecture. This plan shows how Egyptian temple architecture distributes space along a main axis. Courtyards and colonnades and inner sanctums gradually reveal themselves on the long progression forward. The spaces are varied along the way, providing a rich, interactive experience. I think of this as the unfolding of space. It was a common architectural device with the Egyptians. The temple of Queen Hatshepsut, constructed in 1450 BC, is one example of this dramatic progression along a central axis, as is the temple of Ramses, built over three millennia ago. Anfalad is not limited to ancient Egyptian architecture or to any one style. Beaux-Arts architecture is rife with examples, and you can find it in almost any type of architecture. Also, enfilade is not limited to one central axis. It can also exist within buildings, sometimes multiple times. This palace in the Czech Republic has several examples of doorways arranged on various axes, revealing room after room in dramatic sequence. Enfilade is simply a way to organize space to add drama, theatricality, elegance, and suspense. What will the next space reveal? Will it be the throne room of an emperor, or the tomb of a dead leader, or the altar in a cathedral? Enfilade is a technique of architectural revelation that is timeless and effective as an experience.